subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. Welcome to the first class of our first class of our digital logic design course. So in this class, we will try to understand. We will try to have an introduction to decimal number system. So before understanding what is a decimal number system, we will try to understand what is a number system. Coming to the definition of a number system, what it states is a number system is a system of writing system of writing for expressing numbers so what is a number system is it is a system of writing for expressing numbers what does it mean what does it mean is for example for example you are given with a packet of stones and you are asked to count those numbers and you are asked to give the total number of stones in that packet how you are going to express the count that you have counted for example if the stone is consist if the bag is consisting of 20 stones so you need to express that there are 20 stones in that bag how that expression will happen so based upon the knowledge that we have on the numbers we will state that it is having 20 20 stones so this is what we call it as expression the system of expressing the numbers that is what we call it as a number system so this is the way in which we will express that there are 20 stones in the bag that type of expression is what we call it as a number system are you able to get the point okay so now every number system has a notation to represent numbers using symbols you take any number system a, a, every number system is going to have its own way to represent the numbers and those way, that way of representing the numbers is what we call it as symbols using the symbols we can express we can express the numbers in that particular number system okay so this is what we call it as uh, this is what the definition of a number system states there are different types of number systems available hundreds and hundreds of number systems available from those we are going to understand in our course we are going to understand four different types of number system they are they are decimal number system binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system okay so in this class we will try to understand about decimal number system in the later coming classes we will try to understand each and every number system like binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system coming to the definition of a decimal number system what the definition states is a decimal number system is a positional weighted system with unique with 10 unique symbols so the decimal number system is having 10 unique symbols the symbols are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these are the symbols these are the symbols that are used in a decimal number system okay so what does it mean what does that symbols mean why the symbols and why the 10 symbols 10 unique symbol you take any ancient number system any ancient number system like hindu arabic number system brahmi number system greek number system chinese number system all those ancient number system is going to have 10 symbols so these are the symbols i named it as 0 1 2 3 before that these are the symbols used to represent a, a particular number why 10 symbols why 10 10 symbols in the decimal system and most of the ancient number system uses 10 symbols why 10 symbols because in the ancient days in order to calculate numbers in order to count the uh, uh, count the given things they used to use uh, fingers so the fingers of the hands we have 10 fingers in our hand in order to count the given things they used to use these fingers so because of that every finger of the hand is given unique symbol every finger of the hand is given unique symbol so these are the symbols that are used in the decimal number system we are using these 
10 different unique symbols to represent a finger in a hand similarly the chinese number system there the symbols are different but the total number of symbols are 10 similarly greek number system they are different the first and the foremost number system that has been identified is a hindu arabic number system okay so uh, every ancient number system is going to have 10 different symbols similarly the decimal number system is also having 10 different symbols and these are the symbols that are used in the decimal number system in order to represent one the symbol used is this to represent two two fingers this the symbol used is this similarly three four nine for nine the symbol used is that one so that is the that is what we call it as symbols okay and uh, uh, okay every number system will have a symbol uh, some set of symbols used to represent the numbers okay the base and radix of the decimal number system is 10 what is meant by base and radix and the base and radix of a decimal number system is 10 so what does it mean is for example for example if you take a number called 89654 so this is a decimal number so what it states is the base or radix of a decimal number system is 10 which means that this is a decimal number which is represented by the base or radix called 10 what does that mean is this number the number which we are representing in a decimal number system is based upon 10 unique symbols are you able to get the point so why we are representing it as 10 means that the symbols that we are going to use here to represent a number in a decimal number system is using 10 unique symbols similarly if you take binary number it is represented by base 2 what does it mean is a binary number is represented by using two symbols you take any binary number it is going to have only two numbers either 0 or 1 or the combinations of 0 1 similarly octal number system is using eight unique symbols so the base of the octal number system is 8 and similarly if you, if you take hexadecimal number system it is having 15 different symbols hexadecimal number system base of the hexadecimal number system is 15 a hexadecimal number system is used by the base 15 okay i able to get the point the essence of the meaning of base or radix the base of that number system is based upon those many number of uh, different types of symbols okay so and a decimal number system is a positional weighted system what does it mean and it is very 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 important to understand so what does that mean if you take a decimal number system it is a positional weighted system what does it mean is the value of a the value of a symbol in the decimal number system is based upon the position of that number from the decimal point make a note of this point what does that mean is a decimal number system is a positional weighted system what does that mean is the value of a symbol in a decimal number system is based upon the position of the symbol from the decimal point for example consider the following number 9999.55 so how we are going to decide the decide the value of a symbol the value of a symbol so all the symbols are same right all the symbols are 9 and uh, or are all the symbols having the same value are all the symbols which means this 9 and this 9 is having the same value no it is not having the same value so what does that mean is the value of a symbol in a decimal number is based upon its position the weight of the number the weight of the decimal the weight of the digit in a decimal number system is based upon its position from the decimal point so this is what we call it as a decimal point and 
starting from the right of the left of the decimal point it starts from 0 and it will get increased so the position of this number is 0th position and the position of this number is 1's position 2's position and 3's position so this is what we call it as the position of a number in a decimal point and to the right of the decimal point we represent we start from minus 1 and we are going to decrease from the right side of the decimal number the position of this number is minus 1 and the position of this number is minus 2 so that is the way in which the positions of a symbol in the decimal number is given and the value of that symbol in that particular decimal number depends upon its position how to calculate the value for example for example if you take this number the value of this symbol is different from the value of this symbol both of them are same symbols but their values are differ differing how to calculate the value how to calculate the value is it is the number product of the number and the base power position base to the power of position what is the position of this number it is one so what is the value of this digit the value of this symbol in this number is it is 9 into 10 power 1 which is 90 similarly if you take the value of this number it is 9 into 10 power 2 what is the position of this number it is 2 so base power position 9 into 10 power 2 which is 900 similarly if you take this number it is 9 into 10 power 3 which is 9000 similarly what is the value of this number it is 9 into 10 power 0 which is 9 and how to calculate the value of this number it is 5 into here point is there it is 5 into 10 power minus 1 10 power minus 1 is 1 by 10 which is equal to 0.5 similarly the value of this number the value of this number is 5 into 10 power minus 2 what is the value the value is 10 uh, 5 by 100 which is 5 by 100 which is 0 0.05 now how to calculate the value of this entire number the sum of all these values is going to give the value of this entire decimal number so if you take it take the sum of all these values it is going to give the sum of the value of this number what is the value of this number it is 9999.55 I able to get the point so that is the way in which a decimal numbers are represented okay hope you got the clarity on this concept every class of this course every class in our uh, channel is going to be a part of a complete course uh, and if uh, we suggest you to watch all the videos in the entire playlist and the description for the and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below we are going to answer your doubt we will clarify your doubts thanks for watching